Hey friends, I'm Anthony and welcome to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing well out there. So guys, today I wanted to just sit down and have a brief conversation on is having a bigger channel better? I, like many YouTubers, when I first started my channel, had hopes that my channel would grow and I would have thousands and thousands of people tuning in and watching my YouTube channel. But as the years go by, went by, and I became more experienced as a YouTuber or content creator, I started to learn how YouTube works, how people work, what people expect from your channel. And my perspective of wanting a bigger channel slowly started to shift. Now, I have made several videos in the past uh, talking about why my channel is not growing, uh, why people are not finding my channel, and, you know, basically whining and complaining about my YouTube channel isn't growing. But, as I said before, as the uh, years went by and I learned a lot about being a YouTube content creator and my ideas had shifted about wanting to become a big YouTuber, excuse me, become a big YouTuber, uh, having a bigger uh, channel didn't sound as flattering as having a small, intimate uh, channel. But the only time that your subscriber count really matters is two times, uh, two milestones. One is when you reach the point of being monetized, when you have a thousand subscribers and then you have 4,000 watch hours within a 12-month frame. And the other is when you reach 100,000 subscribers and YouTube gives you a plaque. Anytime after those two milestones, and a lot of people don't even reach that second milestone. And <laughs> so once you reach those two milestones, or mainly the first one, you know, your subscriber count really isn't that important as your views. And a lot of people watch people's channels and are not subscribed to their channel. So I want to shift this conversation a little bit on towards the why I came to enjoy a smaller YouTube channel. The reason why now I enjoy my small channel and I stopped complaining, excuse me, I stopped complaining about having a bigger or wanting a bigger YouTube channel is because I enjoy the small intimacy of my channel. I enjoy knowing or being familiar with so many of your names that whenever I see your name or whenever I don't see you uh, in the comment section for a while, I recognize that and when I do see you again, I'm like, hey, where you been? I haven't seen you in a bit, you know? I enjoy the familiarity that I have with all of you guys because not only do I feel like you guys have an opportunity or have an opportunity to get to know me because the channel is of course about me and my life I feel like the ones those of you out there who I am familiar with your names and those of you who comment uh, uh, frequently I somewhat have a little bit of a feel not to the capacity of the feel that you have for me but I feel like I have a little bit of feel of what type of person some of you guys are you know, even though my comments have died down drastically, I'm okay with that because I now have the ability to respond and interact with people who do comment um, often. And again, it gives me that opportunity to learn a little bit about you guys. Um, I also recently, you know, gave my email address out in one of my uh, giveaway videos. And after that, I started... Uh, having small conversations with a few of you through email, which I absolutely love, and I try to respond to all of the emails and everything, and that to me is more important or more of value of having this YouTube channel than having thousands and thousands of people uh, subscribe to your channel and having to deal with more people's opinion but for the most part, I think throughout the years that my channel has been very friendly, very positive. Yes, I have had my moments at times, but who hasn't? But, you know, I love the vibe of my channel. So, I love the smallness of my channel. I love the intimacy of my channel. 
Now, that's not to say that when I move back into the van that, you know, I think that my channel will grow, but I don't think it will grow, like, drastically. I think that, you know, a few more people will catch on to it because van life is what my channel was initially about. Uh, a few more people will catch on, and I don't mind a slow growth because a slow growth would give me an opportunity to learn the new folks that uh, join the channel and have them learn, slowly learn me. Because when you've had a channel for so long and you have so many videos, and especially a channel that is about your personal life, and when new people come on board, you know, they're not going to go back and watch all of your videos to kind of learn your story and learn where you are. They are going to start making their judgment calls right at this point. And, it, it, you know, you read and you think, okay, they don't know me, they don't know my story, you know, and you try not to take it to heart that much because they don't know your story. And that's something that, you know, me as a YouTuber have to adapt to when new people join. And that to me is probably the, I don't want to say hardest thing to adapt to, but that is, that can be the most challenging part of having a YouTube channel that has been around for a while, is adapting to the comments of the newer folks who don't quite know your story. But all in all, I have definitely enjoyed my YouTube experience that I'm having here. Uh, I think it's so cool to be able to share my life and have people be interested in my life. And I honestly, honestly believe that there are so many of you out there that genu genuinely cares about my whereabouts. And I think that if my channel was much bigger, I would lose that. And that's what I value the most about my channel is that I know you. I know you. I recognize your name. I recognize your name. Where you been? Come on now. Stick around. You know, I enjoy that. And I would lose that if my channel becomes so big and so many new names that I'm not familiar with. You know, you guys who have been watching me for a while, you guys know that I'm very transparent on my channel. I tell y'all stuff that I probably shouldn't be telling y'all. <laughs> You know, <laughs> excuse me, because my friend that watches my channel, she'd be like, man, you just tell it all on your channel. I'm like, I'm like, I know. I was like, some things I should keep to myself, right? You know, but that's who I am. That's, you know, that's the type of person I am. You know, the channel is about me. It's about my life. It's, you know, I want you guys to feel like you know me. I want you guys to feel like, you know, we are friends and that uh, we can talk about things, you know what I mean? And that's the type of vibe that I enjoy having a smaller channel gives me. So, do I want my channel to grow? Would I like my channel to grow and get bigger, I guess, when I get in, back into van life? Because the van life community is a huge community who has thousands and thousands of people that are interested in the, uh, the van life community and they a lot of people live vicariously through the people that are in the van life community and you know so I just want my channel to grow slow so that once again I can become familiar with the new people and you know give them an opportunity to slowly get to know me you know and that's it. All right, guys, so that's what I wanted to share my thoughts on today. You know, whether I would like my channel to become a bigger channel, is having a bigger channel better? And my personal opinion throughout my experience with having a YouTube channel, I enjoy having a smaller YouTube channel. And one more reason why that is so is, now, we won't go there. But I was going to just quickly say that, you know, I don't depend on YouTube for financial support. So it's much easier for me to accept the fact of just 
preferring to have a smaller channel. Now, my idea, my thoughts may be slightly different if I was dependent on YouTube as a primary source of income. Yes, I probably would want my channel to grow and grow as much as possible so that I can gain the, uh, you know, I can reap the benefits, so to speak, of having the financial benefits of having a bigger channel. But since that is not the case for me, I enjoy, enjoy having a smaller channel. I definitely want to thank all of you guys, especially those of you who has been around since the dawn of time and following me and supporting me. And you know, another thing is I really don't like using the term subscribers and this and that because I feel like, again, the intimacy of my channel that term just doesn't sit well with me. So I'm going to call you guys my friends because I believe that many of you are out there believe that we are friends. I believe it too. So we're going to be friends. We're going to be tight. You know what I mean? So with that being said, as always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.